it's time for Q&A with the credit game. I get a lot of questions about debt, and so I thought it'd be good for us to go through some pros and cons to the debt consolidation loan. So could you summarize some points about a debt consolidation loan? <laughs> loan is not an official debt program which means the rates and terms are up to the individual banks and lenders. Many Canadians confuse this term with the Credit Counseling Debt Program, also known as Debt Management Plan, DMP. These are completely different programs. Essentially, the bank lends you money to pay out and close other higher interest debt. It requires you to have really good credit to be approved with your bank, or you will pay much higher rates when applying with a non-major bank. Pre-COVID, it was difficult to get approved. Post-COVID, it is even worse. Can In my experience, most banks will lend a max of 30 k unless you have a high income. So if you don't have good credit or you owe more than $30,000, then you don't need to watch the rest of this video. <laughs> Correct. But we do have links in the more info section with other debt elimination programs if uh, you're looking for that doesn't meet your situation. If you think a consolidation loan would be a good idea, definitely check it out. Uh, we also have links of the uh, summary and images in, in the information below. So Jess, could you ask some of the top questions that I get about this program? Can you include CRA student loans or secured debt? No, student loans after seven years or debt secured to a secured loan or mortgages can only be included in a consumer proposal, orderly payment of debt, sometimes, or a bankruptcy. You can check out more information and find the links and the pros and cons to these programs down below. Do you get to keep your assets? Yes, you can keep vehicle, house, and investments. Do you have to pay 100% of your debt or can you get a discount on the amount owing? No, you must pay the full amount owing plus any interest charged. Can you choose which debt is included? Maybe. Depending on the situation, you can choose to include just the credit cards or debt that you want. However, sometimes the banks require that you pay off certain debts, like any that are with a different institution. What is the maximum term? Or in other words, how long are your payments stretched over? Five years. Can you pay it off early or before the set term? Yes, you can pay it off as quickly as you would like. Who is it administered through? I suggest that you contact your bank, whatever one you have the best relationship with, and deal directly with them. If you deal with a non-major bank, then you're going to pay much higher interest rates on that. Is it registered in the courts or as a public record? Nope. It shows up as a regular loan. No one else looking at your report would be able to tell that it was a consolidation loan, unless for some reason the bank or lender puts a note in the records. How long does it stay on your report? It's not a negative on your report at all. So just like any other credit account, it would stay on there for six years after it's paid off. How long until you can be approved for best rates and terms? Technically, there is no negative for getting a consolidation loan. However, as we discussed in previous episodes, canceling a credit card or closing a loan, that will lower your score. So you can check out the links to those previous episodes if you want to learn why that happens or to protect yourself. But essentially, in, in theory, if you had three credit cards and, with a different institution and you get a consolidation loan through your bank, then they would force you to close those other ones, which would lower your score. So the loan itself doesn't necessarily lower the score, but the results of canceling the other credit cards will. The new consolidation loan will take a few months before it starts rebuilding your score and there's other things that you should be doing in addition to the loan if you are looking to rebuild. Right. So keep in mind, I'm not a trustee, I'm not a credit counselor, I'm not suggesting that you go through this program or that you shouldn't. Uh, the idea of this video is essentially just do the pros and cons and let you decide which is better for you.